Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I am uh, working on a little recipe project, a little cookbook project. I'm working on those, uh, you know, cookbook journals that I've been showing you. Calling, I'm calling them the mini cookbook journals because they are small. But uh, yeah, I had a little kind of idea this in the last few days that I wanted to try today while I have all my recipe stuff out. So I thought I would show you and do one with you. I have not made a prototype, but I got things out to make it. So um, this Sunday, you will see I reorganized underneath this table right here. I keep, uh, there's a shelf, a double shelf, and I'm gonna show you in this Sunday's organization video. I reorganized this, part, this uh, under my desk in that video, and it's a double shelf in a cabinet. And it's all recipe stuff that I use and cookbook things that I use in my cookbook journals. So, uh, yeah, while I was doing that, I was inspired by these cards. And I may have done it before. I know I've made journaling cards out of these. And I don't know if I've made a booklet. But that's been what I want to do today. I make, want to make like a little, you know, I'm working on the other mini journals. But I want to make another <laughs> kind of mini journal, quick little mini journal here. So let's get started. So I have two kinds of cards from this same library, uh, recipe library um, kit that people used to get, you know, and maybe they got a little subscription of recipe cards each month. So these are the dividers, and these are really pretty ones. This one has muffins, breads and muffins, and this one is the cookies for all occasions. I might put this one on the front. I like the little gingerbread man here, and this can be the back cover. And oh, this has a muffin on it. See the drawing there over the muffins and the bread. And then these right here were in between uh, those, some of those. And like these two right here, really pretty on the front. These are desserts, butterscotch brownies. And to the side is chocolate chip blondies. Ooh, those look good. Anyway, <laughs> so I thought I would like to make some little like mini journals out of these. So uh, I want them to be, you know, these be the cover and then have some pretty uh, papers or some really kind of generic papers on the inside. They don't have to be cookbook related, you know what I mean? So I got out uh, some papers and some scraps, so let's just get started. I think first I will maybe go ahead and put my cover together. So I picked out a piece of fabric here, this kind of a patchwork fabric I had in my, in my um, oh gosh, do I have my scissors here? Let me grab my fabric scissors. Uh, yeah, I had this in my fabric scraps here, this piece, and I thought this would be cute uh, as a little uh, binding. Let me see how much I need here before I tear a strip. So, yeah, I don't want to cover up the, the cookies too much here. So, just a little bit, maybe half an inch over the front and then I needed to wrap around the back about a half an inch so about an inch or so so I'm going to just tear a strip here maybe about right I want it to be big enough but it's just going to be a you know like a fold open uh, little piece here a uh, little binder little covers and so let me get all the strings and then we'll see our what our length was is going to be let me just get all the strings off and then I'll measure my length. Okay. All right. A few strings here. That's okay. I like I like the um, frayed edge, like I always say. So nice little piece of fabric there. So let's measure our length. So I'm just going to do it like this. I'm not going to be picky about which end goes where. So I'm just going to measure the length like this. Let me get it right even on the bottom here because I don't want to waste any of this cute little patchwork fabric. I only have two little scraps left and this is one of them. I don't think I had a big piece to begin with. It was just a kind of a scrap I got at a thrift store to begin with. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really cute. This is really a great little fabric to use for um, clusters and just really anything like that. Uh, and like this. Okay, so it's going to be like this. So I'm going to, let me open these up, I think, like this. So they're going to be like this. And I'm going to put a little bit of fabric tack on here. And then I'm going to sew them also. So let me get the fabric tack right here. 
I had it upside down for a minute here so I could get it going because it's this one's about to empty. Um, I, I like this little bottle though. I might refill this because I think I have another bottle that's bigger. And I like just, you know, having this little bottle on my desk and and working with this little bottle. So I might just refill this bottle. Uh, and what I usually do when I do that is just kind of, I don't want to get any water inside, but I might just wash this off real good and get it all de-glued and uh, then I'll fill it up with my bigger bottle. Hopefully, we'll see. That should work. I should just be able to take this lid off and I may have done that before. I don't remember. I think I did that with my art glitter glue, actually. I haven't done it with this one yet because I usually just use my new bottle, but I really like that little size. And I know my other one's bigger. So, okay, so I'm going to put this on here evenly, but not, I'm going to pay more attention to the front here. I just don't want any strings on there right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pay attention to where I, my cards are even. I don't really need much of a space here, piece of glue, and, but I'm going to leave a little tiny space there just so the covers can have a place to bend and fold. Okay, so a little tiny space, a little tiny gap. They look like they're even. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me make sure they're even as far as the top and bottom. Okay, I don't want them all whopper jawed. Okay, I've got space. I think they're even. Okay, I'm going to put this down and pay attention to the front. Okay, that looks good. All right, I'm going to put it down. Okay, it jumped on me. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, I'm going to move it up here a little bit before it dry, starts drying. All right, well, I blew that. Okay, well, I'll get it going here. Hold on. I didn't press it down yet. Okay, I'll get that back into place. All right, I think I've got it. I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit here, holding onto my cards, and pull this up a little bit. It's a little bit low. Okay, there we go. That should do it. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's straight. I'm really messing with it, aren't I? Okay, that looks good. All right, let me turn it over and see how it looks. Yes, that looks good. These are blank on the back. The other ones have recipes on the back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fold it, press it down into the glue really good. This is, um, I mean, you could do it like this if you don't sew. You could just use glue. So I'm going to go ahead, check here. I want to go ahead and put some glue here because I'm not, I'm going to sew out on the outer edge here. So I do want this all nice and glued down. I would like to finish this during this video, but we shall see how far we get. I might have to do a second video. All right, so because I don't, I want it to be cute. I want it to be nice. This could be a nice little gift, you know, for someone like a little starter junk journal type of thing for someone that's never. I, you know, done a junk journal or seen a junk journal or heard of a junk journal before. Yeah, I like to make little starter junk journals sometimes. And uh, for people that, you know, you would like to introduce them to your friends or whatever. And just like it kind of is an introduction without overwhelming them. Okay, I'm going to go sew this and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and here's what it looks like on the inside so far. Here's what it looks on the outside. Um, let me see what I want to do next. I'm trying to decide whether I just want to put some pockets here or do I want to cover up this inside. I think I want to cover up the inside. I didn't think I was going to, but I think I do. <laughs> uh, I think I want two separate pieces of paper, though, to glue here and here. So let's measure that. I want to make these simple, but... <laughs> You know how it is when you get going. Sometimes you do more than you plan. So let me see. I need to cut about right there for that side. Yeah, I think this is going to take more than one video. Let's see. Where's my little fold here? 
Yeah, this is really cute paper. I have this in my scrap box. And it's got these teapots on the, on the bottom here, which I thought would be really cute for a cookbook related journal. But it doesn't have to, like I said, have cookbook related stuff or cooking or recipe type things in it. Uh, basically, I wanted to really use some of these library cards, cooking, you know, recipe cards that I have so many of. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because I have the ones you'll see this Sunday. I show you all the ones I have in here for myself. I have some in my closet that I showed you when I when I went, when I reorganized my closet, and I have some in the other room with my stuff that I have for sale in my Etsy shop. So, yeah, I really need to use more of these myself so that, you know, they're not sitting here. Okay, so the length is a little long, too. Let me see my length here. Uh, not too bad, not too bad, but let me see here how I want to do this. I'm going to have to round the corners. Also, which I might do after, I'm not sure. I might need to do it before though because my corner rounder might not let all of that thickness between the card, the recipe card and the paper in in uh, the, I'm trying to see where I need to cut this for the length. It's not very much, I just have to cut a little bit off the top here. I'm going to cut the other piece the same way at the same time. I save a little time here, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to round these corners before, so I really kind of am trying to be a little bit quite precise here to get it to fit on these cards just where it right so I don't cut off too much, I like at the top here, and then have it be too short, so just a sliver, and so I want to keep it upright. Let me see how I'm doing. And this is going to be a little wide on this side. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. A little wide. I'm trying to decide if I want to cut it after. I think I want to cut it after. Otherwise, I'm gonna. It's going to be very hard to get it to the exact size. So let's go ahead. This is a little slick, so I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac uh, to get it nice and glued down. These cards, particular cards here are, I'm not sure, I was going to see if there's a copyright on here. They are definitely vintage, i just not sure, I'm not sure what year. Does it say here? Hold on. There are some Roman, Roman numerals here, let me figure it out for a second. 1997. Uh, 1997. So these cards are from 1997 in this little set that I have here. That is fun to know the date. All right, so I've got glue over both of these sides now so I can get going here. Let me make sure I have enough on here on all my edges and corners and things. Okay, so let's see, it really doesn't matter which I put where. Let me put this one on this side, I think. I'm going to line up the bottom. I said I needed to round the corners beforehand. Let me round these corners real quick. <laughs> on, the, on the inside. Okay. Alright, that looks good. Well, perfect corners. Okay, and then we're going to cut this outside piece. All right, yeah, this is going to work out very nicely. All right, yeah, see, that's much prettier than that white with the stitching going down there. Okay, now I need to round this cor these corners uh, on the inside because that would be pretty much impossible for me to round after. Okay, so that. All right. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to put fabric on the inside here, but if it needs it, I will. But I don't for like sturdiness, but we'll see. Okay. 
Now let's see how we did with, yeah, see now I can cut this off, this outside sliver, and I can even round the corners actually. I've got a little sliver here to cut off too at the top, I see. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to cut around my little fabric there and just cut around my cover. And now I can round my corner because I have a little guide there, <laughs> which is my recipe card. And then we'll have a perfect fit. That worked out very well because I was really trying to cut it before, but that would have been... Uh, it's not impossible, but it's just hard because I could have cut it too short, and then where then where will I be, right? That will be it. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> okay. I'm going to check and make sure this is all nice and glued down after I get this cut off. See if I need any glue on my edges or anything. All right. Did I get it all? Yes, that looks good. Okay, get rid of these. Now, do I need any more glue? Are we all glued down? Let me push it down, and then I'll check my edges. Okay, now let's check our edges. Yeah, I had a feeling this was loose right here. When I was cutting, I could feel it like it felt a little loose. So let's put some glue there. I've got some oozing out here, so I'm just going to wipe it off. <laughs> I could sew around the edges too, which I might do. Maybe a straight stitch around the edges here just to make sure everything's secure. But of course, if you're doing this, you do not have to do that. Especially if you don't sew. <laughs> you can't do it, right? But uh, yeah, some strong glue, whatever your favorite strong glue is. And if you uh, want to, you could, if you have a slick surface like I did on these recipe cards and you're doing this, uh, you could actually sand it down a little bit to help your glue adhere better. You're not going to sew. Okay, so uh, I want to check my this corner right here. Needs a little bit of a <clears throat> snip here. I got a jagged kind of uh, pointy edge here. Okay, uh, for my paper. So I needed to conform it to my cover there. All right, that looks super cute. I think I am going to put a straight stitch around the edges though, all the way around. And that way I'll feel like it's secure. Uh, since I have this decoration here, uh, the teapots and some flowers, I'm not going to put a pocket there. That would cover up, you know, and defeat the purpose pretty much. So I'm not going to do that. I could put a little pocket up here though, couldn't I? Definitely. So uh, I'm going to decide right now. Uh, let me think for a second because I have this paper. And it actually matches this, doesn't it? Wow, I didn't even... I pulled this out while I was uh, sewing before I came back on my or on my way back and I thought I was going to make pockets out of this and then I realized I wanted to cover this but I could make a little pocket of some type right up here and this really matches this nicely I can't even believe that so uh, let's see I don't want it to be that big if I do do a pocket so I'm going to cut it about right here and try uh, some type of little pocket I want to see if I want it to go from edge to edge because if it do, if I do, then I could sew it when I'm sewing the edges, right? And if I don't, then I would just glue it on. So we'll see here real quick. Uh, so if it goes edge to edge, it could be like that. And I could even leave it as a belly band. Should I leave it as a belly band? Slip something through? I think I, think I like that because then it would look more appropriate even that it's a belly band or a slip through and then it would be sewn on the edges on the edges where I'm sewing the pages anyway so I'm going to um, let's see I want to cut it in the middle here so about right there let me make a pencil mark here because I want to get this right <laughs> for once right I want to actually kind of measure here so I need a little gap right there where I have my gap and I need another uh, cut right over here and then I'll be ready to sew again. Let me put my lid on my glue so it doesn't ooze out or anything dry out or ooze out. Okay, so right here, here's one. Right, then I'm going to cut that other little sliver, the middle piece out there. Only because I had it down and I didn't want to like pick it up again. 
Okay, and then the other little, on the other side, the piece I have to cut there. Okay, all right, there we go. Okay, and now, so I'm going to go sew that. Oh, wait, let's glue it down a little bit. Let me use my art glitter glue because that will take up, it will glue it down nicely, paper to paper, plus it will take up less room, and I won't have glue, if you know what I mean, taking up my any of my space here because I feel like <laughs> it is weird but I feel like the um, you know on something like this the Fabri-Tac does take up space in your pocket you know what I mean it just it makes a wider glue uh, bead there and so it takes up more room in your pocket and I'm just going to do a straight stitch so that won't take up too much room in my pocket either and that's thinner than a zigzag, right? <laughs> so, yes. Sounds like a good plan. I want to get these even right next to each other. So, that is super cute. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, there we go. Looking good. Okay, let's get, let me go sew and I'll show you what, I, what it looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, so I sewed around the cover. I sewed on the front so I could see where it was on the front. I wanted this front to be like, you know, looked really nice and straight and everything. So I wanted to see what I was doing. So I sewed on the front. And then here's the inside with our belly bands. Let's see now. I just thought of something. Okay, I think it'll be all right. I didn't sew here. I didn't sew here. I don't think I want to sew there because you're going to have another... If I sew there or on the edge of the paper, which is right... Or the edge of the covers, which is right over here, I'll have another sewing line there. And I don't want that because I'm going to have another... I'm already going to have stitches here down the middle when I sew the pages in. So I think <laughs> I think we're good. Uh, it looks like it's nice and glued down. I mean, let me check it up though and make sure since I'm not going to sew there. I need a little bit of glue right here. I'm going to use my little nozzle here, poke it down in here, and put me some art glitter glue right down in there. So that's nice and sealed. Not a bit, little bit here because I was going to. I was thinking I was going to sew all the way around, but I did not do that. So now I want to check those edges and make sure everything is solid there. And like, you know, just flat together, no gaps or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just checking that real quick part of the process. Make sure everything's together. Can I get, I'm just checking it like this, see if I can get it apart at all. Let me put a little bit here in the corner. It's not coming apart or anything. I just want to make sure it's together. Okay, that looks better. Okay, let me see, anything else? I don't want to pull it apart, but I want to make sure it's together. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I can almost pull it apart if I wanted to. I'm gonna poke a little bit down in here. I'm not sure if it needs it or not, but just to make sure, I don't know if that's the in between the fabric or the card, but I'm putting glue in there anyway. <laughs> okay, all right, I think we are good. I don't know if I can get any glue in here or not. There's something a little, not, it's not anything, but I just want to make sure it's together. Okay, and this glue, Art Glitter Glue does, if you've never used it before, it does dry clear if you were using Fabri-Tac, that can be shiny. Plus, it's hard, a little harder to control because it's a thicker glue. So I wouldn't use, for something like what I just did, I wouldn't use Art Glitter Glue because, like, I got some right there. And you can't see it once it's dry. You won't be able to see it. Plus, my, my pages are going to be there. So this is what we did. We made our belly bands like this. So it would be nice to stick something in there. Our recipes or receipts or whatever anybody would want to use this journal for. I mean, it's going to be have a recipe cover or recipe card cover, but the inside can be whatever anyone wants it to be, right? 
So let's see, we have a time to put a few pages in here. So I'll show you what I have pulled out. I just pulled out a stack. Um, if you saw my organization videos, you saw me organize my papers in my closet. So I have letter trays in there with all my papers sorted. And I took one of my letter trays where I have miscellaneous papers and I took the whole bunch out of that tray and put it right here on my table. So that's what I have here. So, um, you know, that's what I picture this as being, kind of like miscellaneous papers. Now here's a cute little thing with a pocket like this. This would almost fit. I would just have to cut it down. Wow, it's almost the perfect size. Okay, so let's, well, if I could put it in like this. But I do need to cut off the edges here because it's too wide, which I think is okay. I think is okay. Okay, so let's see where I need to cut it. I don't mind cutting it. In fact, if I cut it right on this line, you won't even know anything's missing, right? <laughs> let's do it. I mean, I'm using my stuff. Just because I have to cut some off doesn't mean I can't use it. I want to use my, my goodies here. They're so, they're fun. And, Cute, and that's why I bought them so let's let's use them so I'm going to um, glue this together these little pockets so I have a belly band and here I have a pocket now so that is you know for this little journal is going to be awesome and I want to put some writing paper in here too and just some fun paper so people can see um, I'm going to put a couple of these in my shop and people can see you know, what is a junk journal? It's, you know, odds and ends that you put together <laughs> and repurpose, you know, that's what it's all about. Okay, I want to make sure this is not too tall. I think I need a sliver or else when I sew it together, this could end up being a little bit too tall. So I'm just going to cut just like a very, barely, a, like a half a centimeter off the top here. Not even a centimeter. It was a sliver. I just feel like I needed to cut, see? It still looks like it goes top to bottom, but there's a little bit, barely a little bit of leeway there. So we used that. That was this right here from this little stack that was in those miscellaneous papers. This is, uh, these are some dividers, I think. Here's another one. This one has a tab on it. Now that would be fun, but it would have to go this way, I think. Uh, looks like there's a piece of tape on there. I didn't put that on there, but it looks like there's a piece of old tape on there. <laughs> then that could be fun. Oh, you know what? This could be a fun... Oh, or I could use this one, actually. If I use it on another page and use it for a pocket, like on the back of a page, I think I'm going to save it for a pocket. It could be a page, but it could also be a pocket. See that? I don't know. I'm going to fold it in half and leave it in there for now. Maybe I'll use one for a pocket and one for a page. So I've got two of these here. So this could be a little fun page. Let's see if it's too wide. Oh, it's not too wide. Okay, we're all right with that so far. And then we'll save that one for the moment. I might use it for... Oh, this one could be a page and that one could... I was saying this one could be a pocket because this one has a tab on it. <laughs> I don't know if I want a pocket. A tab on my pocket. Let me see what it would look like as a... As a, it's not, I wouldn't put it on here because this is if this is wider than this, but uh, unless I cut it down. But see, it looks weird. And if for a pocket, I might want to cut it down. And I, I don't, I kind of want to keep the holes here. I think those are fun. It was originally in some type of binder, apparently. Uh, maybe this one here. I've got the cover right here <laughs> for that. If I need any cardboard, there we go. I'm not going to use that right now. I'm going to put that to the side. And I've got room to show you maybe one more paper. So I've got some of this paper here. Oh, that's from that book and something else from that binder. Okay, that I just showed you. Some of the lined paper. So I'll put a piece of that in there. I'm going to put something in between. I like to do, I like to stagger, um, you know, like sh long, short, long, short. I'm not going to put two, unless I do it like this. Sometimes that's fun to put one up and one down like that. You know, when you turn the pages and you turn it like this, and then you have one up here and one down here, I could do that. So maybe I'll leave it for now. I can always change it around before I sew it in. And I might, I got all this, so I might want to put more than one of these in there, but I'm not going to be able to fit that many papers in here. And then I have this ledger. 
So I'm going to cut some of this down to fit in here too. This is really nice pink and blue lines. And I've got some other papers here. I've got a whole stack right here of miscellaneous goodies from things and the book pages and all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm going to come back and do another video. My time is up. But uh, yeah, I just took it longer than I thought. I didn't think I would get that involved with the cover, but look how cute. It was worth it, I think. So I'll come back with another video and uh, show you um, either what I put together or put it together with you. So I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day and happy crafting.